The Great White North fights back against COVID-19. Canadian universities are front and center tackling this crisis and tracing its impact on our lives. This is Universities Fight COVID-19 from Radio Western. Each episode, we tell you about COVID-19 related research and commentary coming out of Canadian universities. Today's episode is from Western University. Stay at home. We've been hearing this phrase for the past few weeks. Stay at home, maintain social distance, all in an effort to stay safe and combat COVID-19. But being safe at home will not be possible for everyone during this crisis. Women and children living in violence are at risk. With stresses mounting and no other place to go, violence often escalates. Shelters and other organizations in Canada are highlighting this issue and trying to ensure worker and client safety. Gender-based violence, including domestic and sexual violence, generally increases after disasters, according to a Red Cross report. In fact, there are already incidents of such violence happening in different parts of the world during COVID-19. Annalise Trudel expects an increase in gender-based violence. She's the manager of education, training and research at ANOVA, London's women's shelter and sexual assault service provider. ANOVA and other similar organizations have to limit social contact to keep women and children in the shelters healthy and safe. For many shelters, it means pausing intake or even limiting or stopping movement in and out. And here comes the tough choice. How does one promote one form of safety? in this case health, at the expense of something else, freedom from violence. But there is hope. Local, provincial and federal governments are supporting domestic violence victims, increasing funding for shelters and repurposing hotels to house the homeless. The media is publishing facts about domestic violence and telling stories about the experiences of women and their children during this crisis. Organizations are publishing guidelines for policymakers, health and social service providers, and the public about how to help these vulnerable groups. But what happens when the COVID-19 crisis is over? Femicides in Canada were getting worse before COVID-19. Here's a statistic. A woman or girl is killed in Canada every 2.5 days. Will we continue to address and prevent violence against women once this crisis is over? Only time will tell. This story was adapted from the Western News article, Not All Find Comfort While Safe at Home, written by Nadine Wasson. She's the Canada Research Chair in Mobilizing Knowledge on Gender-Based Violence and has studied this field for over two decades. The Great White no-